guys. I'm just uh, working on some trees today that I'm going to add to that um, wall piece I was showing you earlier. And one of the reasons I like working with tree shapes so much is um, it gives me an opportunity to create some real depth with a wall piece that would normally be kind of a 2D effect. But with the trees, even though I'm starting out with a flat shape like this, I can bend the branches and twist them around to create a 3D effect. And um, that gives me uh, the option of, of placing them differently when it comes time to weld them together and stick them to the, the piece. So, that being said, get these branches bent properly. Oh, I like to work with really rusty material. Actually, it's, <laughs> it's kind of ironic. Stuff you want to rust, sometimes it just takes the longest time to get that rust to build up. Then, of course, things you don't want to get rusty immediately rust, so go figure. But oh, this kind of stuff is a little hard on the hands. Try to use some tools to help me, but this is just kind of one of those parts of the job that I don't mind. I just wish my hands would uh, cooperate sometimes. Let's see. Get in there, get the right little Let's angle. What am I going to do here? It's that intentional random thing, too, always going on. It's got to be just pleasingly random. Ooh. Oh, yeah, much better. Use my mighty, mighty strength here. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want things to match perfectly. I don't want there to be too much of a pattern to this. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Yep, these will be good. These have really nice rust on them, and I made them out of kind of thicker steel than what I actually had to use, but um, I don't know. There was something about the, the chunkiness factor of this gauge that I just liked for these trees. Maybe it added a tiniest bit more three-dimensionality to them. This is the kind of thing I like doing, but um, the older I get, it is it is taking a bit of a toll on my hands. There's nights after work that uh, holding onto my handlebars becomes kind of an option. <laughs> so, keeps my hands in good shape anyway. I have the Kung Fu grip. Okay, I'm liking it. Now, this will probably be a better visual uh, representation of what I was showing with the depth, but if they were flat pieces and I was going to connect them together, they would just have to stand in a row like paper dolls, right? Now that I've got some depth with these pieces, I don't have to connect them side by side. I can connect them slightly behind. Woo! I can get this to balance for a second. I can connect them slightly behind and in front of each other by these little branches. And that's about all it takes is a little weld up in those upper branches and this will become one solid piece. If it was going to be a um, tabletop sculpture, all I'd need is three. The trunks become basically legs and that's what it would stand up by. This is going to go on a wall so standing up isn't really an issue. In fact, I may take this back one and raise it up even a little bit to give it more of that 3D depth effect. So, 
Now it's just a matter of figuring out visually which one I want to be on the end and in the middle and in the back and so forth. Ooh. Yep, I know, I'm taking a hundred years. Most of this will be edited out anyway, but it's just, that's part of the process. Sometimes lightning strikes and the very first little uh, posi positioning that you try, it's like, oh, that's it. But uh, more often, it takes a bit of monkeying around. Okay. <laughs> All righty. I think I want them like this, but now that I do, I don't like the way this branch is bent, of course. That's a kind of weird thing about art that you just have to get used to. A lot of people, uh, a lot of my friends I talk to that don't really do art, um, but they, I don't know, they're drawn to it, but they, they don't do it. And one of the things that keeps them from doing it is never being sure if you're doing things the right way or not having confidence that whatever you do is gonna turn out. And I have to say, for me as an artist, I'm never sure either. I mean, I am and I'm not, you know? I, I guess you have to be willing to make mistakes to have things come out really cool and um, I guess it's kind of like that leap of faith thing is, is what makes you go forward and, and just give it your best shot and create things anyway. But um, I'm never sure either, but if, if something's exactly right, I just have to go with, I know what I like. And so that's what makes it right, you know? Nobody can come along and say, Oh boy, did she ever bend those tree branches wrong. It's my tree, so it's perfectly right. It's the way I like it and the way I made it. So I guess what it amounts to <laughs> is uh, confidence plays a definite role if, in uh, creating any piece of art. There comes a point where you just have to go, nope, that's how I like it right like that and go with it. Rocky start, but Rocky Balboa finish. <laughs> I'm so witty.